For the first time ever, a university is incorporating hologram technology in the classroom, and it's thanks to technology from a company here in Los Angeles. The University of Central Florida is using the technology that produces a lifelike person in hologram form to help train students going into a healthcare uh, profession. Using a 4K camera, a lifelike patient can be beamed in from anywhere live or pre recorded. It's from the LA company Portal. The pandemic accentuated the need for telehealth and remote learning. New right now at 5, Channel 9's Angela Jacobs shows us how UCF found a way to greatly improve these platforms for healthcare education students, becoming the first in the world to use the technology this way. This technology takes a patient from anywhere in the world and brings them right into the room, sharing a 3D image of the way they talk, move, or even breathe. For grad students in Dr. Lauren Bislick Wilson's classes in language and motor speech disorders, hello to our friends out there. Learning is now lifelike. You really do feel like that person is there, and you can pick up on all of these subtle characteristics that you wouldn't necessarily get just from watching a video. This portal, dubbed Dr. Hologram, allows virtual patients to join class sharing their wide range of conditions. Let's go forward again. Associate Dean Dr. Barry Hoffman worked to get UCF's Holoport to fill pandemic revealed gaps in remote learning and telehealth. There's always a challenge in bringing a large number of patients semester after semester in front of our learners. And so this technology and building a library of patient experiences really um, just fills that gap. It can also enhance clinical skills across multiple areas of medicine. I've never been introduced to anything like that before. This grad student in social work just met her first hologram patient. I connected with it better um, than as if, if I was doing Zoom. Among UCF's endless portal possibilities, teaching students how to build better patient relationships. Not only just to assess the symptoms and severity, but to really um, understand the humanistic component um, and help these individuals regain quality of life. In Orlando, Angela Jacobs, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Is using hologram technology to train future healthcare professionals. That technology produces a lifelike person, allowing students to see and examine the whole patient. It also allows students to be exposed to patients who are immunocompromised. Training has been limited to pictures and videos with patients. Technology will be implemented into several programs this fall, including physical therapy, athletic training, and clinical social work. All new tonight, UCF is turning to holograms to teach students. Yeah, they're using this new technology as a part of their health care education. And it's the first university to do it. Fox 35 Sydney Cameron shows us how it works. My name is Earl Glass. I'm 81, two years old. Meet Dr. Hologram, UCF's newest professor this fall. And no, I'm not talking about the guy. I'm talking about the box that he's in. This is a, a groundbreaking technology that allows us to bring, you know, life-size um, uh, experiences to our students. Like a recording of this Parkinson's disease patient. UCF is the first university in the country to use the portal hologram machine for education. Healthcare education students will learn about conditions from Alzheimer's to Down syndrome and deepen their patient care skills. To be able to develop that team with a lifelike patient that we can bring in time and time again without the burden of bringing people to campus and having access to standardized patients and, and, and actors. This machine can even beam objects like myself in real time. All you need is a 4K camera set up anywhere in the world and using the Portal Ink technology, it beams me into the machine, opening it up for endless possibilities. You feel like the person is right there. Um, and that's huge. Professor Lauren Bislick Wilson plans on using Dr. Hologram with her speech language pathologist students. She says pictures and videos are okay, but holograms are better. They're able to see those motor impairments that they wouldn't have seen maybe in a video that is really just focusing from here, um, from the head through the neck. UCF says next up, using Dr. Hologram to reach patients in rural areas and hosting experts from around the world. Sydney Cameron, Fox 35 News.